So, hey guys, Chauso here, and yeah, since I have both Buggy and Mihawk, I figured figured I make one team featuring only the Buggy and one team featuring only the Mihawk, so that owners of either one of them have something to look at. In general, for this particular event, I'd say Buggy is a lot better since he is one of the few units who can actually deal with. Uh, that's variation stage 4 where you get both uh, damage threshold and bind since buggy special handles it all by himself uh, one thing to think about when using both of them though is to keep a bit of an eye out for orbs like the good thing is that first stage you are guaranteed to get six strength dex quick orbs but buggy needs a total of 10 uh, Miyok needs a total of 12, so yeah, just try and keep an eye on it, like if you get very bad luck or something. But yeah, this particular team is very similar to the uh, Wichiraki Inu team I made without any new units. I just replaced the Rumble Luchi with Buggy, basically. I do want to note that this Sengoku is not needed. I'm not sure why I put them in here, like... There's no reason to run him over like Boa, the, the, the rear recruit Boa, the strength one. So yeah, just swap them if you happen to have a buggy and want to run this. But yeah, against the, against the Kumachi variant, you use the Wichiaka Inu special there. I'm playing out both variations from stage 4 to stage 5 since I do the boss battle a bit differently depending on what stage 4 I get. But yeah, this before revival looks the same. We use Weevil, use the attack down remover, and then you just burst, hitting first with buggy, of course. And you want to hit last with Weevil. And yeah, that was an easy kill even when missing a <laughs> perfect. So yeah, with Garp support, you don't have to stall a turn here, but if you don't have it, it doesn't matter, you stall a turn. And yeah, we use Buggy Special here, and uh, Boa Special, and we'll get a ton of damage, you don't have to worry about lacking damage for the revive. So yeah, easy kill. We're moving on to the other variant. And yeah, this variant is the one where Buggy is super good, since he removes everything and you get the delay conditional as well. Uh, we didn't get the best four block here though. So we'll have to kill over two turns here, but it's not an issue. Yeah, moving on to final stage. So yeah, this time we used Buggy here, and we did enough damage with that. So that means we can save the Akainu special now. So yeah, this event is a bit based around that. Like if you had the boosters, they want you to um, mix up how you approach the content depending on what stage 4 you get. And yeah, as I've said before, before this Sengoku is not needed for this team. So yeah, for the revive now, we can use Wichiraki Inu for a higher attack boost and the death down conditional. And we only use the boa really for to remove the damage reduction. And yeah, this will be an even easier kill than last time since we have a much bigger buff this time. So yeah. That's the buggy team, moving on to the Mihawk team, which is not as good at all. I might make another team with Mihawk later, like, uh, after using this I felt like he's not that the best captain option, even if his multiplier is pretty good. But yeah, I went for it anyway, and as you see, we both have 
uh, Boa and Sengoku here. Sengoku is actually nice here with the Akainu support for extra damage. Uh, there's a weird unit here, which is the Kobe and Helmeppo. And yeah, they are one of the few options to remove the damage threshold. So yeah, we're using them this time instead. Uh, one of the issues with Mihawk is that we have already have a unit that is more accessible in the strength Kobe that basically fills the same function that Mihawk does in many ways. So it, owning Mihawk isn't as big as a deal as owning Buggy for this event. Obviously the best one to own in general is the Boa, but... It's not like we get to choose who we pull. But yeah, I, this wasn't the best ghost stage I've done, if we say so. But yeah, for the Kumachi variant, we used the Mihawk, obviously. He's perfect for this stage, since he removes everything, sets death to zero. And the Kumachi has super high death. And of course, we also have the Sora special, so we get a chain lock. So yeah, for this variant, a concern is the damage, since uh, we, we do only have four strength units. And we only have... Uh, So yeah, killing here is easy. For this variant, I'm actually saving the Boa for the revive because this Boa has the treasure map re recruit Weavy support. So we do get an extra damage with color affinity, which is very helpful. We also use the Kobe Helmet bow to get a bit of an HP cut. So yeah, that's the first variant. I am aware that this might not be the easiest team to copy, but uh, it was the team I felt was fun to build using some other stuff and other strategies. But if there is demand for me to make another team that is more easy to make with Mihawk, let me know. I will uh, definitely look into it if there is demand for it. But yeah, for this variation, we actually use the Sengoku here yeah, to remove the bind and get the chain lock. Then we use Kobe and Meppo to remove the damage threshold. First, we stall the turn, obviously. And yeah, just get rid of the ghost. Do some damage to Perona. And yeah, this variant, I'm taking it a bit easy because. Yeah, you, just, you can waste time here easily, so I just get her close to 20% because when she falls below that, she will stun you for a turn, she, you waste even more time. So I just burst when I knew I could kill her. But yeah, the good thing with this variant is that final stage is a lot easier. And as you see here, we've already used Sengoku this time. So we're not using Sengoku to remove attack down this time, instead we're using Boa for that. So it's a pretty cool team in that sense that we have two different attack down removers, but we don't use them. We use them in different stages depending on what we get. I like that personally, it was the main reason why I made this team. Also because using Kobe and Mappo is pretty cool. And yeah, we do a lot more damage this stage since we can use Mihawk now, get the chain lock. Just makes it a lot easier since chain lock plus boa special is way more than enough damage. And yeah, the Kobe support is nice here. So yeah, so let me know if you want more Mihawk teams. Otherwise, I'm feeling pretty done with this event actually. I'll have my own teams up tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys.
See you next time.